Well, welcome to the channel. Welcome to this video. Hey, we're going to work today on our 35 Chevy. The last video on this car, we were painting actually the hood, the front fenders, the rear fenders, all those pieces got refinished. Um, we did in some previous videos all of the work to the doors and got them good. We stripped and rebody worked and primed our roof section, so that's good. So I believe in today's video, we're going to start off by popping these do this door off and start working this side of the cow and across the top and uh, going to work on the firewall just a little bit. I want to kind of even this line up here, get this thing where it's nice so that uh, we can get it ready to paint. And got some work to do here and figure out where we're at on this quarter. I did, when I did the roof, I came down quite a ways here so we don't have too much to do. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it goes fairly quick for us and we can get this thing knocked out. So thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Enough talking, let's get started with the work. George the crazy cat has ripped up a cushion and made himself a nice bed inside of our car. It's okay. We're worried about this stuff up here. So yeah, we'll clean that up.
so here we go got the inside of this area all smoothed out where i welded stuff back up i did have to come in here and i had to strip most of the primer and stuff out of this area that stuff i guess had run down and kind of pooled in this corner and then when the solvents evaporated out it left a space there and it cracked so i had to take all that primer out of that area then i've gone through I had to do a little filler work right here to blend in where we had pulled this quarter out. That wasn't too bad. And you can see most of the rest of it. I've been block sanding this car down using 80 grit on a uh, Dura block, 80 grit by hand with just sandpaper. And something I like to use is just a plastic spreader with sandpaper folded around it to get into those cracks and stuff. Um, I will have to go back with uh, finer grit sandpaper before I prime this, but that won't be too big of a deal. The goal in this video, I think, is going to be to prime from this corner around and do all the way around. The front of the car over here to probably this door or maybe stop in here somewhere and then all we'll have left is the door jam in here that quarter and the back of the car the back of the car has got some issues i want to show that to you real quick i probably have already shown it in another video but you can see when I get you in close, this primer has failed on us. It's like cracked like crazy, gets big cracks down at the bottom. Um, I'm figuring we may end up having to redo all of the filler work on the back of this car, and that's a pretty good sized job. Um, we do already have the roof done, both doors done, and of course you saw the video with all of the sheet metal, the fenders and the hood and the grill. All that stuff's already painted. So we're basically just working with the shell of the body to get it caught up with everything else. And it's taken some sanding. There's still some more sanding to do. It's just kind of the nature of painting body work. I don't want to have 16 videos of just doing sanding because it's it, it might make me cry.
making lots of dust. I think I'll stop and like show you these decals. This guy sent them to me. Uh, he's got wood and metal garage out there on YouTube. Uh, likes to call himself Woody part of the time. He has some pretty cool uh, content coming at you. Just uh, building things from wood and metal in his garage. And uh, last video he was ripping up on the guitar pretty good. So I thought that was neat. So yeah, check him out. Go over there. Subscribe to his channel. Let's build this YouTube thing up for everybody. So yeah, as you've been seeing, I've been like in the dust, right? This sucks. Got a good amount of filler here. I knew this back panel of this car had quite a bit in it. I was just really wondering why my filler was like cracking and trying to come off. I mean, you can see all the way down into here, there are giant cracks and they, they're just in the primer mainly. But some areas, it was down to the metal. So I started grinding in it and I'm finding a little bit of corrosion that's underneath my body filler. I mean, this black primer here, that was put directly over the cleaned and treated metal. But when I body worked this, I mean, you guys can see, it was a huge area right here that I body worked and then I had to come up in and get in this I think anywhere there's not that epoxy on top of the bare metal, I'm gonna go ahead and take it all back off, clean it, treat it, and re-epoxy it. And then do my body work on top of the epoxy because that's really, I think, the best way to do these old cars, get them in epoxy first, then body fill on them. That's the way we did the roof. And I've got a, a video of going back and stripping all that. I think the thing that really killed the filler on this car was it sat outside under a tarp for, gosh, probably five years in the Oklahoma summer and winter. So that was super, super bad for it. Won't ever do that to this car again. I promise you 35, it won't happen like that again. But it's taken me quite a while to get in here and get all this ground out. And it's been a couple weeks since I put a video out for you guys. So I'm wanting to get this finished up. And there's some big cracks here. I know like there were bumper holes in this. There was a spare tire carrier that had three giant holes here. And then the whole back of this car had been smashed because it had been pushed before. And I don't know that it had a bumper on it when it was being pushed. So there's lots of damage in the back. I don't know if uh, I mentioned it before. Um, my dad would kind of like to make this a, a three door and put a door in the back. There was only like 80 some of them made in 1935. That's still a consideration, but we don't have the car running, driving or anything yet. And I would love to have that happen before I cut into the back of this thing. Cause that's probably uh a one month project they're working every day on it to get all that finished up. I would say there's a good chance it would take that long because you got to build it all from scratch. I don't have anything to start from and I don't think we can use any kind of parts off an existing vehicle for it. The contour is kind of unique to the back of this car. I know we can do it. It's just I know how much work it is going into it and I'm not sure that I want to jump off in the middle of that giant project. So I'm not sure. I did go ahead and I, I've i got all of the primer blocked down low, all the way up around the cow. I, I blocked quite a bit on this side, but I still have like in that line to block and around the lower part of the window. And then I just decided to bust this stuff off the back and see what was there.
breathing dragon to square up or straighten out this cut right here. I think that'll look a lot better when we go to finally put a plate here. This is just so you can get your brake pedal and the steering column passes through here on our car. I went ahead and I welded this little tow board in a little more fully. I don't think that it would ever go anywhere. And then, ooh, how many of you know what that is? Probably everybody that watches my channel knows what that is. I freed up the vent piece here. That bolts in underneath the dash, but it's welded to the firewall because I don't want any bolt holes showing there. And yeah, that gets the inside all cleaned up, welded up and prepped. So when we do our final priming operations, we don't have to worry about anything being in our way. I did pull my dash out of there. Um, I'm kind of working in the background thinking about what to do with that. So, hey, we just keep moving on on this car. I mean, you've got to you got to do a little at a time and try not to do things that are going to mess up your progress later when you're doing this. So getting the dash out, cutting that hole out now. When I prime it, I won't burn any of my primer off again. And uh, yeah, we just keep rolling on the old 35 until... <laughs>
right guys this video we got our hole all cleaned up here filler applied so that weld seems all nice and smooth we got this still yet to sand probably gonna have to sand the roof of this because uh, I think we've almost turned this into a complete reprime of this I uh, re-repaired this area down here got all this stuff done a little bit of sanding left to do here re-repaired this got it looking nice now got our quarter panel finished out there and we come on back around to the very back of it and you can see i've got it stripped down to bare metal <clears throat> i'm gonna put just enough on this to keep it from rusting and we're gonna start a series of building a door for the back of this car where there is no door right now. You see my shadow there in the sun as it's getting ready to set. This side's all blocked out, got body filler work done here, and then same thing along the rocker, it's finished out, so hey, I think this is going to be the end of this video. Let's take and go to the, the shop at school and look at the hood for this. It's already painted and we've done a little bit of blue and white and thrown some red in there for the combination uh, just to make this thing look a little bit cooler. So let's go look at that real quick. All right, so here's the latest progress on the old stuff for the 35. Yeah, you can see the nice looking little tape out we did to highlight the louvers, kind of the iconic part of a, a 35 Chevy. And you see my color combination with the blue and the white. And then we got the red in there. So we got red, white, and blue. Go America, right? Built in American, by Americans, for America. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. And then uh, I have the grill shell here. Um, I did not put a red stripe on the grill shell. I want to kind of get everything lined up and, and figure out where I'm at. Got a little blue overspray, but that's actually on top of the clear. And we're going to kind of try to get this thing painted up so that it matches that perfect yeah so we just keep working on the old 35 Chevy you know eventually it's going to get there I did make the decision last night that I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut and build a rear door for the 35 so it'll be a three-door sedan of which only about 85 of them were built in 1935. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Consider subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one.